Terry, please. Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, thank God. I can't believe he found us. When I heard y'all banging through the door, I thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. We gotta get moving. I'll second that. Well, I would have left already, but I, I got Sarah here, and... I... I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. They're, they're okay. Sarah, come on. We... we have to go now. Shit. Come on! We need to get out of here. Guys, we can't do this. We can't... we can't... we can't stay here! I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I... I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know, it's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then... while she saw this mobile home, made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I could barely get her to look at me. Clem? Jane might be right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. You would still want that. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you! What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke! Get over here! Help me hold this! Clem, see what you can find! Can we use this? It's not big enough! Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay, ready? On three. One. Two, three! We need 
up top. Okay, come on. Clem. Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? I can't do it. Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. I can't! I can't! I can't! Sarah, I, uh, I didn't think you'd leave her. It's hard to think about. What should I have done? I don't know, but you... I don't know. It may be hard to hear, but you weren't going to be able to save her. She was never going to make it in this world. Yeah, I guess... I guess there was just nothing we could do. I tried so hard to get through to her. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's just the way things are. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. Trust me, I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. And when you really look at it, maybe it's better this way. For everyone. We were there for hours. You know, I should have gotten through to him. I should have done something. All I did was leave her behind. Luke. You can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time, but I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. And all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah wasn't dangerous to anybody. Come on, let's get back to your friends. Found him. 
Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Wait, where's Sarah? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk? And then... Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. No! No! <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? No, I don't think so. I was afraid of that. I don't know anything. Mike sure as hell doesn't. I don't even know how to ask Jane. And that just leaves... Kenny. He brought Sarita in there not long after he left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. She didn't want me to wait. But I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. That beautiful face. So I waited. Sarita was a good person. I liked her. You know what it feels like? to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Gotcha. Sarita. No peace. No rest. Punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Well? Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. And that means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. This place doesn't seem safe for a baby being born. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The 
museum. Seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you can go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mike a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would've never been back though. Just something to think about. Warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I can stay here and help. Kenny and I got that covered. And hey, you'll be more help scouting with the others. You wanna come with us? Okay. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. Watch out for the broken glass. It's all over. Okay. Somebody's already been through here. Guess that's not a surprise. Still, might be something worthwhile left. Let's check it out. We need to look fast so we can get back to the others. Let's just make a sweep. I really don't want to go back empty handed. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side. You are souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. Do you think these work? Nah, they're just for show. Be handy though. Also, really loud. Good point. Lee would have loved this place. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Empty. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. There have sure been some animals through here. Watch where you sit.
luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Penny said we need blankets. It's not really a blanket, but... But it should do the trick. Good call. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. No, I mean, maybe... Are you sure you can't get it open? Okay, no, that's all right. Maybe I can just reach through to the lock. Jesus Christ! Something's got Hold me! Hold back before it bites you! Help me, please! Stop it! Hold on! <laughs> Okay, Bonnie? It's just a bump. I'm gonna be all right. Christ, that would have been a stupid way to die. I should have tried to crawl through. I might have spotted him better. It's all right. I, I shouldn't have asked anyway. Let me see your arm. No, I... I didn't get bit, just old scars. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. <laughs> hey, I got this. Well, that looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I hope so. That baby's gonna be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys! Come on, stick close. I just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. You can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like, I mean, just, just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. <laughs> Shoot! Don't let it get away! Where is it? I think it went over there. 
There he is. He's coming your way. Walk him. Oh, oh, sh shoot. Dang it. Not with the walkers out there. Sad I'm not eating my food. Well, at least it was kind of fun. Yeah. Huh. I guess it was. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. supposed to be in labor yet, can we? What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. How long did your son take? How you doing, Beck? Okay. I'm okay. How did you guys make Museums out? Museums are bust. All glass walls shattered. It'd be impossible. And it was picked over pretty good. Lots of folks probably been there before us. Found some water though. Oh, well, that's good. Nice work. Good, good. We save all of that for Rebecca. Anybody else gets a thirst, you can go to the river. Clementine, up here. Oh, hey. Museum was a bust, huh? We found water. A lot of it. Well, that's something, at least. Check this out. This gate's still locked. Which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. I've been trying to get it open, but it's locked pretty tight. Can't see what's inside. That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand at this thing. See if you can find something bigger. 
We might need to bust the mechanism. There were more cannons in the museum. Mike said they're just for show. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. Oh. I guess it's broken. Find anything? No, not even trash. Be careful. There could be an animal or something in there. Animal? Yeah, an animal. I hope there is. A tasty one. They can be hard to catch. Shit! You okay? Yeah. I think I almost had it. Keep looking. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around. Should we run for it? Normally I would, but it's too much of a risk. I can't lead him to the others. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Подожди, подожди. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. Do you understand me? Yes. I'm Argo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially... Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. 
You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need him. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends. In the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you you take my sister's medicine? You are worry. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that are stuff. suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, oh shit. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> no, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Jane, what are you doing? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? I thought we were just gonna talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened, and we need to get moved in ASAP. Observation deck? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. What happened? He had a bunch of medicine and stuff. Jane wanted to take it. Yeah? you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah. She's trying to get the gift shop open. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm never quite sure if she just doesn't like people or just plain out doesn't like me. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just he seems broken. Broken people get reckless. You know, you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. 
but I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. Yeah, he always tries to do the right thing, but he's not the same anymore. Well, I'm glad you see it too. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. It's just not, uh, we were just... Jane? What? Clem, listen. Uh... Wait, what's going on? In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny, what's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. The walkers are right behind us. We have to keep them from getting up here. There's still the stairs. No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. We should. You want to help. Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. I'm going outside. I'll help hold them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come! Here. We can't let them up here. Fuck, hurry! 
What? They're gonna make it up here. Fuck! Does this shit ever end? Drop something else on them? Nothing that will stop her. Maybe we can drop the whole deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the... Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Just look around. Hey, Clementine. Hey. How's he doing? He's perfect. He's a perfect little man. Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem. Why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. You slept, Kenny. How about two years ago? I'm fine. But somebody's got to watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. Stick around and watch it happen to you too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. But I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Well, 
Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. And when push comes to shove... I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me. I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. be asleep by now. You okay? It's nothing, Luke. Don't worry about it. Okay. Just checking in with you. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny, you know, just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? You guys are both acting like jerks. All you guys do is fight. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine, but this baby, he's what matters now, got it? So get your shit together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at, at the least. You've got that baby formula. Rest of us. Now, what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Bex. It's gonna be all right. 